Good morning. If you're watching this on YouTube, this is my TikTok live where I go live every Monday and Friday. And on Fridays, we look at the weekend energy. So feel free to skip ahead. I'm just going to wait on everybody to get on and then we'll get started. Welcome in everybody. Come on in. Happy Friday. Happy 777 portal. What up? Good morning, good morning. Hey, Miss Karen. Hey, Tara. Are y'all excited for today? I am. It's going to be awesome. Good morning, Ricky. Feels like we haven't seen each other in a long time. <laughs> good morning, good morning. I do have lots of people tonight. It's gonna to be very interesting. Y'all, I was not expecting that many people. So I'm really excited because <clears throat> what I want this to be is I want this to be a time to where we collectively come together in this high vibration because when that many people come together to raise their vibration, right? Miracles can happen. So it's extremely exciting. Uh, right now, there is close to a thousand. It's crazy. <laughs> I was expecting maybe like 20. <laughs> yes, this is a collective reading. Thank you so much for asking instead of just jumping on and giving me the, the questions. A lot of people do that to me and I'm just like, wait, what? Yeah, it's a lot. You know what's funny, Lisa, is I made the joke after I scheduled the event. I made the joke, you know, it'd be funny if like a hundred people were like, oh, let's do it. And then that happened. And I was like, holy shit, this is taking off. And one of my sons was like, you're going to get a thousand people. And I was like, that's insane. That's not going to happen. You know, to me, it's, it's whoever felt drawn to it was going to come, right? And so, yeah, we're about to hit a thousand if I haven't already. So, yeah, it's, it's crazy. But to me, like I said, it means that everybody that felt drawn to the session is ready to raise the vibration, ready to awaken, ready to take control of their lives. Look, we have 77 people right there. Um, so all of us coming together in this high vibration is going to produce some dramatic changes. So that's extremely exciting. Okay, so what we're gonna do, if you've never been here on the morning lives, what I do is I cleanse your heart chakra, right? We're gonna do with the singing bowl right now. Later, we'll do the, you know, the Reiki session. <laughs> um, but right now, we're gonna cleanse the heart chakra. And then we're going to look at every day this weekend to see what energy is presenting itself, okay? We have the 777 portal today. You wanna make sure you're meditating. You wanna make sure you're releasing, grounding your energy, drink lots of water, and really just allow yourself to be in that spiritual space today, okay? Regardless of if you're in the Reiki session or not, this is your day, this is your time to do what you feel necessary in order to move you into this new timeline, into this new energy, okay? Your card of the day today was the Seven of Swords. Ooh, so you would want to really, you know, look behind the curtain and see maybe how you have been not really being honest with yourself of what needs to be released and maybe feeling like you have to do things alone, but you don't have to. So yeah, okay, so let's cleanse the heart chakra. Let me pause the music right quick so y'all can hear it nice and clear. Okay, so all you need to do right now is just breathe and receive the vibration of the bowl. Just deep breaths, relax as much as you can, and just let it pull out the heaviness of the heart chakra, okay? Then we're gonna get into the tarot and oracle. So here we go.
Release it all. Relax everything that you can. It's still singing. Now let's all collectively take one deep breath in. Expand your lungs and pick up that heaviness, pick up that anxiety and fear and blow it out quickly. <sighs> let's get rid of that, okay? We don't need that. Okay, whoops, let me fix this back. Come on. Oh, now it wants to update. <laughs> of course. Okay. Come on. While we're waiting on that to update, let's choose our deck. Oh, welcome from California. Very nice. It's early there. What, 7, 7.30? Okay, so y'all choose your deck today. If I can pick these up. So we have deck one. They're kind of kind of similar. This is more traditional tarot. Or deck two. This is the red fairy tarot. Deck one or deck two? Which one do y'all want? One so far are getting it because it's shiny, right? It's pretty. <laughs> okay, it looks like ones have, have won it. So let me turn my music back on. I like to have, if this is uh, high vibration music, so I want to make sure we have it on. It's 528 Hertz music. Okay, set that over there. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at, like I said, each day of the weekend, and we're gonna see what the energy is bringing us and how we can move through this. And I'm sorry, I've got that light right on my face. It's the sun is in that exact position to where Oh, we got to do our fairy blessing. I forgot about that. See, that's your intuitive thoughts that you need to listen to. You're going to, when you learn to listen to your intuition, it's that quiet, quiet little voice that likes to remind you of things and help you out. Anytime I'm reminded of something, I'm like, oh, thank you. Okay. You got to thank your higher self and your guides for the help. So let's see what our fairy blessing is for the weekend. Ooh, we have a blessing of the wild within. It does align, right? It goes right down the middle. <laughs> a blessing of the wild within. We've had this recently, and it's number 24. So number 24, so two is all about balance and duality, and four is about stability and doing what's necessary. So let's, let's look at, let's get a glimpse of what all it has to say, and then we'll get into the tarot. I know we've had this recently, but I want to go back over it. The fairy gift of the untamed heart. Mm, I like it. Within you is a wild place, a place that is pure and untouched by conditioning and should and should nots. And it is to this place, the fairy blessing of the wild within comes and rests and takes root within you this day. This fairy blessing is a calling back to your wild self, to the self that has been shaped and pummeled by the forces of family and culture and manner and jobs and time timetables and by all the things in the human world that can cage us. And so the Fae offer you this shining blessing which returns you for a moment to your own wild within so you can remember what it felt like to be natural, to be unthinking and uncensored, to be innocent and dancing, to move when called to, to have that primal instinctual self take hold and fly with you. Isn't that amazing and perfect for today? Because today with the 777 portal, this is everybody stepping into the timeline that they want to be in. This is releasing and shedding all of that old energy, okay? All the old programming, all the old negative thoughts and trauma, we wanna shed as much as possible so we can step into this new energy of being in control of our own lives, being aligned with our higher self, and really making the decisions that are best for our highest good, okay? 
Uh, I do free readings for my tribe and my secret group members. Sometimes on here, uh, I'll do readings after um, the live, but uh, I can't do that today because today I have the Reiki session and I really have to do my meditation, my grounding, and really energetically prepare for that. So I can't do free readings today. Your morning was full of crying and some strange language. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so let's look at the days of the weekend and see what's coming up for us. It's exciting. And <laughs> if y'all didn't know, I'm going to be on vacation next week. So I will not be doing the morning live readings. However, I got you. I'm putting them on YouTube. Okay, so make sure you're following me on YouTube. My YouTube channel is the same as my TikTok handle. So it's at 22 guru. Okay. It's linked in my bio. So you're going to see them released Monday morning and then Friday morning. So I did the readings for you. That way, you know what's coming up for the week. Okay. I didn't want you to feel left out. And I also have the elemental readings that are going to be released as well. Okay. All right. So let's look at today. Today we have the king of swords in reverse. Okay. When the King of Swords is in reverse, it can indicate somebody who is very narrow-minded, okay? So, I want to read this two different ways. We're going to look at it as another person. If you're dealing with a person who is extremely narrow-minded, who can be uh, manipulative, who is really unkind with their words, then we need to move away from that person, okay? Don't react, respond, Respond by moving away. Respond by doing what is best for you, okay? You never have to participate, sorry, in anybody else's BS. I have so many people that get really triggered by my videos. It doesn't matter what I do or say. There's always going to be somebody who has something negative to say. You never, like I never play into it because it's stupid. I don't have time for that and neither do you, okay? Also, if this is your energy, we want to open the mind today. No longer being this narrow, negative fo uh, focus on your life. Like so many people claim negative things. Like I have bad luck or I'm broke or just all the low vibrational things. We have to shift that. You need to open your mind and realize that it all starts here in the mind. And it's up to you to start the process of changing the mind. Okay? I can't do it all for you. You have to take personal responsibility for your journey. You like, I never want anybody reliant on me for their whole entire life. We never want to hand ourselves away to anybody else. Okay. I'm just here to help. All right. All right. Let's look at Saturday. Ooh, Saturday. We have the page of pentacles. Look at that. So pages, he doesn't look that happy, but I promise he's much better energy. <laughs> pages are always messengers. They're messengers of opportunity, okay? It's also a messenger or an energy of learning something new. So on Saturday, remember, we're opening the mind here. We're no longer speaking negatively. We're no longer being combative. We're opening our mind. We're realizing that we don't have all the answers and that's okay, that we're always in a state of learning. And then on Saturday, you have a message of some sort of opportunity coming your way. And it's gonna be different for everybody since this is a collective reading, but be open to any possibilities. Be open to any opportunity, okay? If you don't open your energy up, you can wake up in the morning, hold your arms out like this and say, I am now ready to receive all that is for my highest good. And just doing that motion right there opens up your energy, okay? Do something for yourself. Open your energy. Allow yourself to receive because the only reason why you haven't received is because you're not allowing yourself. Most of the time when we go through tough times from childhood all the way up into adulthood where we've been punished or abused, in adulthood, we repeat these cycles and we punish and abuse ourselves and we have to stop that. I had to learn that, okay? So I speak from experience, just, just be aware. I did not have a life to where, you know, nothing traumatic happened. I've been through every sort of abuse you can think of and I've been at rock bottom more times than <laughs> I care to say. So I do speak from experience and that's why I'm so passionate about this. So on Saturday, 
look for these opportunities. It could be somebody comes up and says something to you and, you're, and it sparks an idea or you have a great conversation of how you can work together or you can learn off of somebody, okay? So let's look at Sunday. Sunday, ooh, nice. Sunday, we have the 10 of wands in reverse. So when the 10 of wands is in reverse, it's an indication of laying down all of that old stuff, okay? Being ready to drop it all because this is your baggage. You don't need to carry this baggage anymore. It's not yours, okay? You're, you went through experiences, but they weren't meant to be like put in your suitcase and carried with you. That's not what the whole experience is about. It's for you to learn from, you to grow through, and then you drop it, okay? And it takes, it takes time and effort, okay? Because everybody's situations are different. Everybody's trauma is different. So it, it still needs to be dropped one way or the, or the other, okay? Does that make sense? Look, we have the seven of wands at the bottom of the deck. So the seven of wands indicates that you have gone through obstacles and you might feel like this is an obstacle today to open your mindset, but you can do this. You can overcome this. And what, right? It's a seven, seventh day, seventh month and a seven year. So there we go. Good. It makes sense. Perfect. This is a collective reading. Please don't jump on people's lives and just ask questions and expect them to do a reading, okay? Sit back, relax, and, and see what this is telling you, okay? You might learn something. Let's see what we need to know for this weekend. Look at that. Distant horizons. You see the anchor is, is cut loose. This is you getting the ability to move forward. This is everything's coming to this culmination and this energy is building. And now we're gonna, we're gonna release these heavy burdens, just like the 10 of wands is saying. We're gonna let this go and we're moving forward. Three is about your, you know, like your, your um, self-expression, your communication, your creativity. It's just like, you know, all those yummy things about yourself. Six is about harmony and love. And when we put them together, it's nine. Nine is the, the completion. It is that really high attainment. So there you go. Oh, thank you so much. It's, it's my pleasure. I love, love, love doing these readings. I love being on here and talking to you all. If I could do it all day, every day, believe me, I would. <laughs> I can't wait into the session either. Okay, you watched the video? Good. If you registered for the Reiki session tonight, be sure to watch the video that I sent y'all because you need to know those instructions, okay? If you want to register, go to the link in my bio, scroll down a little bit, you're going to see you're invited, and then that's the event where you register, okay? Let's get, you know, I haven't used this deck in a while, and it was speaking to me, the spirit animal deck. Let's see what we need to know. This is another one that I do have to read out of the book because I don't have it memorized. But don't think that you have to have everything memorized. Like I have, I don't even know how many decks. <laughs> it's the message that counts. Tarot, obviously you wanna have it memorized because you need to know how to read it, but Oracle's different. Ooh, we have the hyena. Look at that. So let's find out what the hyena wants to say. And the only thing about this um, book is they don't put everything in order. So I'm going to have to find it. Give me just a second. Oh, there it is. Yay. It says humor, wit, sarcasm. The hyena personality is a jokester and crowd pleaser. But below the surface, there are unfulfilled dreams to be realized. Hmm. When the hyena card appears, it's time to reflect on your reliance on sarcasm and humor to express your truth. Are you using jokes to hide old resentments in relationships or, or, or to mask things that feel uncomfortable discussing? What would happen if you took your goals seriously? How about putting the mirror to your face, right? When in balance, charming, witty, and fun to be around. When out of balance, scrappy, petty, and suspicious. 
So today it's asking you, what do you choose to be? You feel called out? Uh Uh-oh, sorry. (laughs) You know, a lot of us do that. A lot of us mask things with humor. And it's just a protection, right? So it's asking you to really allow yourself to be truly you. Don't worry about what other people think, say, or do, because like I said earlier, it doesn't matter what you do or say, there will always be somebody who tries to oppose you. That's just their job to be that negative force in this lifetime. So don't worry about it, okay? Don't worry about it. It's not It's not your problem, it's theirs. Y'all are so sweet. Thank you for the gifts and the likes and everything. That's one of your affirmations you've been working on. Whoops. It's over a thousand now. Holy shit. Oh my God. I, you know, the universe is trusting me and you all are trusting me and I'm so honored be able to be able to perform this session tonight and I can't I can't wait and I'm going to I'm going to try to use my iPad to do a voice recording so I can just blurt out everything that I receive in the session um and then I'll put it all together for you all and um wow I'm just more curious than anything to see what comes through uh during the session so yeah I'm excited because You know, they always say when you gather in great numbers, miracles can happen, change can happen. And so that's what I want your focus to be. If you're in the session this evening, I want your focus to be to raise your vibration to all for all of us to come together, to work together in the session. Yes, I'm doing the energy cleansing for you, but I also want you to be an active participant as far as keeping that heart space open and as strong as you can and receiving this divine light and you know, collectively sending love. Uh, your internet keeps crashing. Oh, it could be the energy. Ooh, look. Y'all, solar flares activate and it's number 17. We're in the 777 portal. We're going to start getting all of these sevens, right? <laughs> You've been saying the last few days you need a miracle. Well, Miracles, you know, miracles are when you come into alignment, when you finally surrender to the universe and you allow yourself to receive. So, yeah. You had a power surge there. Interesting. In 17, when you add it together, it becomes eight. What is eight? Eight is abundance. Okay. So there is an activation happening today with the, you know, Sirius and the sun aligning. If you want to be in the session, all you need to do is go to my profile, click on the link in the, in the bio, and then scroll down a little bit. You're going to see you're invited. And that's the event that you register through. Okay. I think it's going to cut off at noon. I had it set to cut off last night, but I started getting so many messages and emails of people that wanted to be in it, but it had already closed. So I was like, oh man, Okay, so I reopened it and it's still going nuts. Look, didn't I say surrender? Surrender to the divine. Full moon, this is a day of releasing. This is a weekend of releasing. Spend the whole weekend just letting go and trying out this new way of being, okay? Making the decision that it's going to be for your highest good. Now that's going to be, it's not going to be just little decisions or big decisions. It's going to be little decisions too. You know, who you interact with, what you put in your body, what you put on your body. Um, do you exercise or not? Do you meditate or not? There's all these decisions that are up to you that are going to help you transform your life, but it's not going to happen if you don't make them. Okay. So yeah. I, like I said, I'll be going on vacation to the beach. I'm so freaking excited. And I'm going to be soaking that up like crazy. Let's see what else. You're going to do a lot of relaxing? Good, Tara. Seven is my life path number. Nice. You're going to the beach tomorrow? Yay. 
Okay, I just wanted to make sure I saw that. Yeah, we leave Sunday morning, but tomorrow I'm going down to my parents' house because we're all riding together. It's gonna be so fun. Look, we got passion, soul. Didn't we get this on Monday? Or am I thinking of, I might be thinking, I think I might be thinking of the elemental readings. So passion, uh, the soul, it's number 14. So what is the soul? What are you passionate about? You remember how I tell y'all, whenever you want to connect to your higher self or your soul, you look yourself in the mirror and you stare in your eyes. You can receive messages that way from your higher self. You can connect to your inner child that way through the eyes. Okay. And you always want to tell yourself, I love you. And you look yourself dead in the eyes and say, I love you. Do it as many times as you need to. You're probably going to cry. <laughs> You're going to have all kinds of emotions that come up. But look, Monty knows the eyes are the windows to the soul. <laughs> it, it tells you so much and it, it's going to give you a sense of release and it gives you the information that you need. Um, and you want to find out what your passion is. If you don't know what you're passionate about, then the universe cannot help you. The universe works on specifics. Okay. If you're not specific, if you don't know, then the universe doesn't know. It's responding to your energy. Okay. What did I miss? Oh, can you manifest people in or out of your life? Uh, no, we don't want to try to, we don't want to try to overtake somebody's free will. If they're meant to leave, they'll leave. I mean, you can, pushing somebody away, yeah, because if they're, you know, in, in your energy and they're disruptive and everything, yes, you can push them away, but trying to make somebody come in, that would be against their free will and it backfires significantly. If you want to get a reading, you can click the link in my bio and book a reading. I will be on vacation next week, so I won't be doing readings next week, but I will be available starting the 18th. Look, the heart guardian, love and let yourself be loved. We were just talking about that, right? You have to be in that state of allowance. You have to learn how to love yourself. If you can't love yourself, then there's no way you can expect somebody else to love you because you're the only person that knows you truly, like 100%. You're the only person that knows you. And yes, you know your faults. You know all the things that you've done in the past that you wish you didn't. But guess what? We're all human. <laughs> we all make a 100,000 mistakes. It's, it's a learning process. So give yourself grace and give yourself allowance. Be like, you know what? Whatever. I screwed up. If you hurt somebody, you go apologize, you make it right, and then you move forward. Okay? It's just life. Uh, what name does the video come in? I didn't see it in my email. You might want to check your spam email. It should say uh, the 777 portal, and I think it says something about watch this video in, in bold or capitalized letters. But I'm gonna I'm gonna send it again just to make sure that everybody got it. So, um, but yeah, check your spam folder just in case. You're welcome. Thank you, Jamie. You're so sweet. Let's see what else do we need to know. Oh, we have the thicket of thorns, uncertainty, and it's number 43. We have that seven showing up again. Okay, look at the butterflies. So we have this transformation calling to us. But when we see the thicket of, thicket of thorns, uncertainty, that's where everybody gets stuck. Okay, because everybody wants to go through this whole metamorphosis. However, when they get to the new vibration, they're like, oh, well, I don't, I can't predict what's going to happen here. So I'm just going to go back over here to my old life. And then they're miserable again. 
and it's this vicious cycle, okay? So whenever you go into the new vibration, you want to, this is why visualization is really important because it kind of dips your toe into it. It gets you used to that vibration so you're not afraid. But that's where also the surrender comes into, okay? Surrendering to the universe, knowing that the universe can see the bigger picture and you're gonna follow your intuition. You're gonna follow where you're guided and just see what happens. Life is an experience to be had and we don't wanna attach our self-worth to any person or any outcome, okay? You've got to love yourself. You've got to fill your own cup. You've got to open your heart and allow yourself to receive. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Amadi's on here. Uh, make sure y'all follow her. Make sure you follow Jamie. All my gals. <laughs> It's skipping on me. Sorry, y'all. Okay, you've looked and you looked and you can't find the Reiki list to add your name to it. Listen, all you do, go to the link in my bio. Scroll down. You got to scroll past all the, the buttons. Scroll down and you're going to see where it says you're invited and then that's the event and it says register. That's where you go, okay? All right, let's see what else. I'm in Central Standard Time. So it will be 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I, I sent the instructional video out to everybody. If you did not receive it, check your spam mail. And I'm also going to send it out again later today. <clears throat> Excuse me, because everybody needs to watch that video. It's a 10 minute video giving you instructions on the process. There's Monty. Okay, it'll be 6 p.m. for you. Perfect. Ooh, look at that. We have mermaid's love. So this is, you know, the mermaid's love, I like this card because what it's talking about is we see, we see the masculine energy and we see the feminine energy here. Number one, we need to be balanced in both because that's what keeps us at this equilibrium in our energy, okay? Also, when you're looking for a partner, so the men, the masculine energies, will be looking for someone, the feminine energy, that is the, the intuitive guidance. You know, women are here to be the intuitive guidance, to be uh, the one that you come to consult with. I know it sounds maybe a little crazy to some people, but that's what we're here for. We are extremely intuitive. That's that's our nature. We notice lots of things. And if a man is balanced in his masculinity, he knows to come consult the woman because she can advise him on things that he can't see because the male energy, the masculine energy is more logical minded, okay? There's many things that he won't see. And it's not like saying he's beneath the feminine energy. They're both equal. But men and women are created differently for that reason, okay? So she advises him and he goes and takes action. So this is, this is what we want in our lives. This is what we want in relationships and it's also what we want internally, okay? Does that make sense? You don't see it in your spam? Okay, I'll send it out again. Uh, let's see, let's see, what else? Let's do, oh, I'm gonna pull from this deck. You're starting your lives next week, Tuesday and Thursday evenings. Awesome, I'm so excited for you, Madi. Let's see what else we need to know about this weekend. And with this mermaid's love energy this weekend, it's, it's, it's about connecting to those who, who balance you out. You balance them out, they balance you out. 
pulling in the positive people and letting the negative people just fall away as they need to, okay? That's part of stepping into a new timeline. You can't bring the old life into the new one. It just doesn't work, okay? The vibration residency will hit each other and knock you out. Not knock you out physically, but you know what I'm saying, out of that timeline. <laughs> Look at that, shaman completion. Told you we are done with this with this way of being. If you can't, I, I can't stress this enough, and I don't want to sound negative, but I have to address what I see in clients and in comments and things like that. Okay, you can't claim that you're stepping into this new portal. You can't claim you're going through an awakening. You can't claim all these things if you aren't ready to wrap things up. Okay, if you aren't ready to release your old ego self, if you aren't ready to release your negative thoughts, if you aren't ready to release your past pain or your past labels, if you aren't ready to release toxic people, okay, this is where everybody gets stuck on their journey because they're afraid. They're afraid, like, if I let go of all of this, I don't know who I am anymore. I'm afraid that there's not going to be anybody else that wants to be around me. I'm afraid of being alone. There's so many questions and uncertainties, right? That's why we have that um, thicket of thorns that came up, the uncertainty. There's so much uncertainty. And so everybody runs back to their safety net, which is their old life. But you can't do that if you're wanting the new life. You have to be strong enough and brave enough to go on this journey and see where it leads you, okay? And let me tell you, you can experience magical things if you decide to trust in the universe, to trust in your journey, to trust in yourself, you can experience magical things. And I am living proof of that, okay? I know some of y'all haven't known me for very long, but uh, it's just, it's true. All right, let's look at the money deck and see what we need to know for this weekend. three ways to resonate. So look, what it what does it feel like when I say the word unstable? Does that read like your life? <laughs> unstable when it comes to money? Why? What have you been taught as a kid as your relationship to money? Okay? That's why money will be unstable. That's what I had to learn about myself. Like where did I pick up this habit of you know, doing the um, self-sabotage when it comes to money. And I finally realized where it was from. And then I finally told myself, we're not doing this to ourselves anymore. We're, we're making money grow. We're keeping money. We're allowing ourselves to receive money. Okay, so I'm going to read these three ways to resonate. It says, number one, there have been a lot of ups and downs with your finances. Number two, money coming in fast and going out just as quickly, right? <laughs> Number three, fast changes regarding money or unexpected turn of finances. Now listen, when you hear that, that doesn't mean it's gonna be negative, okay? That very well could be positive. That's how you have to start monitoring your thoughts because when you hear fast changes regarding money or unexpected turn of finances, you immediately go to the negative. But we don't wanna do that, okay? We wanna think, oh, a change of finances, that's gonna be amazing. I, I welcome a change, a good, positive change of finances. I welcome abundance. I allow myself to receive. I'm open to receiving all that is for my highest good. And you get excited, okay? Because you're putting yourself in that vibration of receiving. You're already expecting it to happen. So your body doesn't even know. The, the body is like, oh, damn, we just received something great. Your body doesn't know. So you're putting yourself in that vibration of living that in that very moment. And so then the energy attracts that to you because we have sympathetic vibration. Two things on the same frequency have no choice but to vibrate together. That's how it works. It's all energy, you guys. 
I went positive because the first explanation hit. Yeah, you can absolutely transform it around. You just have to really go back and look at where you picked up these negative mindsets or this negative relationship with money. So, oh, it was 10, 10, huh? Uh, so happy for tonight. I'll be out with my kids when it's happening. Yeah, try to find somewhere calm, Heather. That's 11-11 for y'all. Good. See? I love it. Makes me so happy. What else do we want to pull from? Oh, let's get this one. Wait. Oh, already pulled from that one, didn't I? Maybe not. I don't think I... I guess I didn't. I thought I had, but I guess not. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Let's see what we need to know. What else do we need to talk about? Ooh. The perfect storm, the courage to step into the new life. I'm sorry, the courage to step into life. See? Number 44. Look at that. So what does four and four mean? Four is the solid foundation, needing to take the practical steps, do the, do the work that you need to do. And then we add four and four and that creates eight. Well, that's abundance, but you have to do the work. You have to have the courage to step out of that old timeline. Okay. So that's amazing. And look, and you see with this, Raven, it looks like a raven. You see, it's all leading from the heart, from that heart chakra, okay? So we have to we have to be strong enough to release. We have to let go and we have to decide, you know what? I'm ready for the new. I am so ready and I'm gonna be brave. I'm gonna be brave enough to step into this new path, not knowing where it's gonna lead me, but knowing that it's gonna lead me somewhere great, somewhere way better than I've been, okay? You're in a huge transition and pivotal point, but I don't know where to start. You literally start with meditation and then ask your guides, what is my next right step? Okay, and then let your mind just go and then just be open to receiving guidance or opportunities, okay? And just really let your curiosity pull you, okay? Learn about different things. Try different things. Don't worry about failing because you don't fail. The only way you fail is if you don't start or you quit, okay? So learn different things. Try different things and just explore, okay? It's just life. It, you learn, okay? Allow yourself that. Uh, let's see. Thank you all so much for helping, Tara and Jamie. I need, oh, I need to, I need to go back and post that Scorpio reading, Jamie. I was on here last night and then completely forgot. So all the new uh, monthly Zodiac readings are up, but um, we had to, Jamie had to redo Scorpio because it messed up. So I'll put Scorpio in there shortly. Now where's that one? Oh, this one. Let's see. I feel like this is a great send off to like me going on vacation because I'm going to be doing all this energy work tonight and I'm going to need a vacation. <laughs> I'm going to need to go recharge. <laughs> Ooh, interesting, Jamie. Okay. Uh, you just signed up for tonight. Yeah, 7 p.m. Central is 5 p.m. Pacific time. Yeah. You don't show up to anything. All you're gonna do is rest and relax. In your confirmation email, you should have gotten a video link to a YouTube video. Go watch that video. It's about 10 minutes long. It's gonna give you all the information that you need, okay? 
All right, let's see what we need to know. Oh, look. So we have the door to, oh, door to spirit is in reverse here, okay? And it's number 32. So three and two indicates five, five is change. So this is, are you hesitant to walk through this door? Because when it's up, right, it's you're confidently walking through this door and you're connecting and you're walking into this new timeline. But when it's in reverse, there can be some hesitancy, right? That's what we've been talking about this entire time. This uncertainty, this, this I'm scared because I don't know what's on the other side of the door. But you're never going to know if you don't try. <laughs> would you rather stay stuck your entire life or would you rather step through into a new experience and be like, damn, I'm so glad I did that. Because let me tell you, as somebody who has done that, I am so glad I did it. <laughs> because now I'm living the life that I was dreaming of. And all it took was visualization and letting go. You have a feeling the next card will resonate the number seven? Okay, well, let's find out. Let's let's see if you're right. <laughs> let's see. I'm gonna crack up if it does. Have y'all seen my video where I pulled out the number 29 many times in multiple decks for a reading? That was crazy. All right, let's see what we need to know. Ooh, it's number nine. It is another spiritual number though, but look, awakening. And look at these two cards. They're asking you to open your heart, open to receive, letting go of all of this other stuff, okay? Burning down the old you and welcoming in your healing, your love, your light, okay? Hey, bestie. I hope everything's okay up there. Let's do one more and then we'll call it a day maybe, unless I feel pulled to do another one. Uh, that was the Mystical Journey Oracle. That's what that one was, Mystical Journey Oracle. It is a powerful reading. It's just affirming everything that we've been talking about. And it's it's really asking you to not take this lightly. Let's see. Oh, we have number 22. Thank you, Bessie. I appreciate it. The whole two seconds you saw. Just kidding. Look, number 22, wisdom. Okay. So 22 is a master number. 22 is the master builder. It is moving forward through wisdom. Okay. Tapping into that feminine energy and reaching for that higher understanding, that higher perspective. Okay. You're new here, well, welcome. So you see these books, right? This is everything she's learned and we see the boat and she's climbing up to this higher way, this higher viewpoint, this higher learning. And that's where we want to be, okay? We want to be somebody who learns from what happens in our life instead of be somebody who is suppressed from what happens in our life. There's a big difference, okay? So if you want to go through this, this leveling up, then you have to see it as a learning process instead of something meant to be working against you and just pushing you further and further down, okay? There are, you know, I was thinking about this the other day because I, you know, I try to, I try to see all the comments and everything, but obviously I can't because there's thousands, but I see, you know, so many people go, well, I can't do it because I'm broke. And I'm like, you know, there's two, two kinds of broke people. One who accepts their fate as being a person who's broke. The other is the person 
who sees themselves as having this experience of being broke and they will do anything to get out of it. And that's the kind of person you want to be. If you're if you're struggling financially, you have to have that burn, that that fire to want to go do something to better your financial status for yourself. Obviously, you always want it to be something that is high vibrational, right? We don't take advantage of people because that's going to stack negative karma on you. But you can come out of a horrible situation financially because I have. And it was so much easier than I thought. But the hardest thing is changing the mindset. That's why I say you want to go back to the past and look at what you were programmed with you know, from family, from your past, what were their viewpoints of money? And how can you see that that's their viewpoint, but that doesn't have to be yours, okay? You don't have to keep repeating these cycles. This is your life, you're in control. Actually heard a lot, we could hear you all around. Good, good, I'm glad you could hear me, loud and clear. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you have to be done with constantly feeling the weight of, of those emotions. Exactly. That's what I tell people. I, I was telling people last night, you know, it's not until you get tired of your own shit that you'll experience change. You're going to be tired of other people's shit all your life. I'm just going to tell you that it doesn't get better. You're going to be tired of other people's shit because we have people in this world that are supposed to be negative influences because that's what teaches us different things, okay? So you're always gonna be tired of other people's shit, but you can't control anybody else. The only person you can control is you, and you are the main culprit in your life. So when you get tired of your own shit, then change happens, and I speak from experience, okay? So I hope this helps you. Like I said, I'm going to be on vacation all next week, so I will not be here for the morning uh, Monday and Friday live, but I am putting them, I did do readings for you all on YouTube. They will be premiering Monday and Friday. So make sure you go to my profile and follow me on YouTube so you get the notification that they're up, okay? Also, on Mondays, I release the elemental readings. So I do a reading for fire signs, water signs, earth signs, and air signs. I do this every week, so you can go check those out as well whenever they post, okay? Okay. Um, let me make sure I'm not missing anything. <laughs> Domingo, I hate you. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's see. You're so very welcome, everybody. You're so very welcome. It is, it's my honor and I can't wait for tonight. I'm so excited. I will send out the email again. Yes, <laughs> see, I got you. I will send out the email again to everybody. Um, it's probably gonna be after noon because I think I think it closes at uh, noon. So anyways, what was I going to say? Uh, I will resend that. Follow me on YouTube so you watch those readings and I'm always here if you need. Okay. I'll be back on the 17th and we'll just get right back to it. Okay. Mwah. Love you all and I'll see you later.